Um, today I'm going to demonstrate our um, new LinkedIn template uh, on LinkedIn Lean Form Submit Capture and Format Lead. And um, what's nice about this template is that it makes it really easy to capture any lead form submission from LinkedIn and turn that into a really clean looking um, lead because LinkedIn is notoriously bad at formatting their lead data. So it's quite simple. Um, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to have to create two authentications, one for the trigger and one for the connector in this workflow. And the way you'll do that is we've already got one set up, but if you were brand new, um, you'll name your authentication. So my LinkedIn auth for account, and then I like to get the account from LinkedIn. So you'll need to be an admin on the account in order to set up an authentication and it is tied to a user's login, right? And so I see I have an account here and we're gonna set up an auth for this specific account. I'm gonna grab the ID, right, for account. I'll even just, right? And then I like to label it trigger, okay? And then the next thing you wanna do is you need to set up the scopes for this. Now, um, it's important to know that however you set up your trigger scopes, is the same way you have to set up your connector scopes because if they're different this will essentially invalidate one of the other authentications so i give more permission to the trigger than you might think you need based on how you're going to use the connector and so i use these three scopes i think all that's technically needed is this one um, but again i like to to give more permissions to, to, to it um, so that I can do more with the connector. It's very important that whatever you do with your trigger auth is the same that you do with your connector auth. Otherwise, one or the other is not gonna work. So then you'd create your authentication here. I'm not gonna do that since I already have one. I'll just add my existing auth. And then the same thing is true here, right? So if you don't have an authentication yet, then you'll need to create a new one and use those exact same scopes as you used on your trigger and then just na name it connector and then you'll be fine. Um, the next thing you'll wanna do is enable your workflow and then go and find a test ad that you can submit a form on, All right? So we got an active group here Get an ad, pop it up, fill it out. Submit it, and then come back to your workflow and wait. I'm gonna pause this. Okay, so now we've got our lead and um, Essentially, all you gotta do is go to this last step and you can see that we have this really nice looking lead object as opposed to what we had originally coming out of the triggers, which is this list of answers to a form where we may not necessarily know what each of these answers are because they're in a list or an array, right? They could be in theory in any order. And so we really wanna have a predictable object that we can then ingest and map to other parts of our funnel, right? So if we were, for example, wanted to look them up in Salesforce, right? We might have a find records step here where we're looking for a lead where the email of the lead matches what we have in our nice clean, oops, let me just use map that, nice clean lead object here, right? Because if you were to try to map here to a list item, that's not predictable. That's that's not good, right? Because you if for whatever reason, the first question isn't email sometime, right? Then you're looking up by their job title. That's just not going to work. And right? so that's the nice thing about this template is it gives you a nice predictable object structure 
that you can use. Um, the other thing I'll say about this is that it um, you, you'll depend if you have multiple accounts, right? Then you'll so so if you're over here in LinkedIn, right, and you have more than one account here, right? Then you'll need to set up an intake workflow for each one of those accounts. That's all we got.